Good morning. October is the month when our church community plans for the 2024 budget. Our family of three generations is happy to share some of the ways we find joy in giving to our church. We are Fred and Brenda, Beth, Eric, and Elliot. We joined First Baptist 42 years ago and immediately began participating in the myriad of programs and activities that First Baptist offered. One of the ways we participate is by tithing. My dad taught me tithing when I was a child. Uh, he gave me an allowance, and then he told me how to give a tithe of that. So every Sunday, I would put a nickel into this little envelope. That was my gift from my, uh, my whatever it was I called it. I'm getting old, and I forget these <laughs> words sometimes. Uh, but I gave a nickel, and then as my tithe grew, I gave more than a nickel. And when I was 10, I became a newspaper delivery boy, so I tithed that too. And uh, then uh, I won't say too much about the intermediary period. I was moving around, college, Navy, who knows what all. And then Brenda and I got married and uh, moved here, and as she said, in 1981. And uh, for those 42 years, going on 42 years that we have been here now, we have tithed every year. Uh, Sometimes it was kind of hard. Sometimes it's kind of hard, but uh, we figured a way. At least by De December 31st, we tithed every year, finding some way to do it. There's so many aspects of this church that give us joy. Three minutes is not long enough. So, <laughs> but one of the things that, we, uh, that I find joy in is that we have a pastor who challenges us to seek God's way in the world and find ways of living that out in our community, welcoming all people, working for peace, justice, and reconciliation. I'm very grateful that Amy, Casey, and Laura do the same for our children and youth. Being a part of the Peacemaker team is one way that I feel like I can help with that. I want our church to continue to be a light in our community. But the thing that gives me way more than anything you could think of, and if you're a parent and grandparent, you will understand, is the wonderful things about, of all the wonderful things about First Baptist, the thing that gives me the deepest joy and elicits the greatest gratitude is what it has meant to our children and grandchildren. Eric and I grew up in this church. Oh, I'm not told myself I wasn't going to do this. <laughs> um, and we're blessed with many wonderful experiences, which, along with many of you here today, shaped who we are. We are thankful for everyone here, congregation, and ministers. Our daughter Katie was also blessed to spend her early years in this church, connecting with many that are here now as well. Her time spent, the guidance, what she learned, the love, has shaped who she is, a compassionate, loving, kind young woman who shows God's love and how she loves others and our planet. Even though she is not here physically much of the time, this is still home for her. We moved back to Asheville over two years ago. It didn't take us long to feel the belonging we always have. We knew it was our time to give back and to share some of the same experiences we had with Elliot. He is already learning so much how to love others, how to show God's love to others, and how God and all of you love him. We hope he will be able to continue that journey for years to come. I really 
have fun in Sunday school, choir, and agape kids. I am thankful for all my teachers and friends here. I love learning more about God and Jesus.